Aria. Hey everyone, it's Aria from the TV Hi. Hi. I am a mama of two and I love, love, love what I do, which is making music and learning with each and every one of you. And of course, today I brought my good friend, Gratitude. Oh. Wanna say hi? Hi. Yeah. Gratitude always comes along to remind us to think of at least one thing we're grateful for. I am so grateful that myself and my family are healthy. Aww. That's a great one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you can think of something you're grateful for before we get into our activity today, which is going to be learning all about a very, very important community helper. Can you guess who it is? <laughs> Before we do that, I need to get your name. So let's get our beat going. Hands ready, on your laps. Just like that, we go lap, clap, lap, clap. Hello, my name is Aria. I like singing with you. Hello, my name is Aria. I hope you like it too. Hello, what's your name? Aha, uh -huh. thank you for sharing. That's a beautiful name. I love it. Can I get a drum roll? Drum roll, stop it, <laughs> Okay, you can let it go, you can let it go. All right, if you're feeling great, I wanna see two thumbs up like this. Amazing. So as I said earlier, we're going to be talking all about a very, very important community helper. This community helper is always there when we get really, really sick or if we get injured. You know what it means when I say injured? I mean if you get hurt. Let's say if you're running and you fall, and you fall on your knee and you get a big cut, there could be a chance, depending on how bad the fall was, that maybe you sprained something or something shifted out of place and you've got to go see the doctor or I'll show you. Do you know what this is? It's a thermometer. A thermometer checks the temperature. It checks if you're hot or cold. And I'm gonna check my temperature right now. Let me turn it on. I'm going to check these little numbers that pop up here on my thermometer. And it says, 97.1, 97.1. Well, if I had left it in a little bit longer, I'm pretty sure it would have went a little higher. That is a normal temperature for us humans. That means I'm okay. Yay! Thank goodness. Like I said, I am grateful to be alive and healthy. So I've got a normal temperature. Now, if I had a fever, that would mean that if my temperature was above 97.7, or I should say 99.5, if it was higher than 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 38.3 degrees Celsius, I would need to go see this community helper, our doctor, to make sure that we can figure out what's going on. And they might need to do a test. Mm -hmm. They might need to check my blood. Yes, because our blood carries so much information. We're going to make our very own sample of blood. Wow. Let's get started. Here we have our components that make up the blood that rushes all through our body. And I have gratitude and my good friend the frog to help us out. Let's get it started. Here's what I have. Up first we have plasma. Plasma is a yellowish colored liquid that is 55% of the body's total blood volume. Check it out. It has a yellowish color and we'll zoom in so I can show you more about plasma. It is the liquid part of the blood where the other cells float around. The other cells, like red blood cells for example, and what I use for red blood cells, you're gonna like this. I use some Twizzler nibs, yummy, yummy, yummy. Let me just have one right now. Mm, so good okay now it doesn't have to be these but this is what we decided to use for our red blood cells red blood cells they carry oxygen and nutrients to the body and make up 45 percent of our blood 
That is a huge portion of what makes up our blood. Red blood cells are very important. White blood cells, what I used for the white blood cells, I used some white beans, white kidney beans, check it out. White kidney beans. You don't have to use white kidney beans, you can also use marshmallows if you like. Um, but we decided to use white kidney beans. The white blood cells help the body to fight off diseases. Anytime you get sick, the white bloods have got their fists up and they're like, get out of here, poo 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 poo, uppercut. Don't you dare mess with me. White blood cells are our defensive mechanism. Thanks white blood cells for keeping us healthy. Now platelets, for the platelets, I used some grains of, you know what this is? What does it look like? It's rice. Wow. Yep, I used some grains of rice. You can use some white sprinkles if you like. Not sure if that's the exact color of platelets, but it's going to represent our platelets today. Now we're going to get started and mix them all together, all four components, and see what happens. You ready or what? Yeah. Let's see those thumbs. Let's go. There's the plasma, that yellowish liquid. Wow. You can see the yellowish color here. See, it's kind of yellow. And then the red blood cells, I said were here. Mm -hmm. And then we have the white blood cells right here. And to represent our platelets, was the rice. I almost forgot to tell you what platelets are good for. Platelets help to clot your blood. So if you were to scrape your knee, if you were to fall and scratch and peel off some of the skin off your knee, my two-year-old son did that the other day. Have a look. Ew. If that has ever happened to you, or if it ever happens to you, our platelets rush to the injured area and form what's called a, uh, it's kind of like a plug. You know when you plug the bathtub and the water can't go down anymore? The platelets rush to the edge of the surface where the cut is and they help to stop your blood from pouring out. It's like a plug. So it forms and they stick on top of each other like a, something really sticky like gum. They stick together and they block off the blood from pouring out of you, which is pretty amazing because you want to stay alive. So platelets are amazing for helping to help our blood clot. They are like a plug. Got it? Okay, moving along. Got a closer look, we're ready to mix it together. Let's start off with our plasma since it consists of 55% of the blood, which is the most. Let's go ahead and pour that into our bowl here. So we've got our plasma, the yellowish liquid that carries all the nutrients and proteins and allows the other cells to float around inside. Let's get our, what are these called again? Red blood cells. And who remembers what the red blood cells do? The red blood cells carry oxygen and nutrients. Let's get them, let's get them in there, in the plasma. Come on, get them in there. That's right. Getting it all mixed in, get that out of the way so we can see what's going on. Our red blood cells are all mixed in together. Now we're going to get our white blood cells. Our white blood cells are going in. What are the white blood cells good for? Remember? The white blood cells help fight off diseases. So we've got our white blood cells, our red blood cells, and our plasma floating all around in there. Take a good look. And then we have to add our platelets, of course. So let's go ahead. And it's all in there together. We're going to get a spoon and mix it all around, okay? So I'm going right ahead and mixing everything together so that we can get all of our cells mixed into the plasma. I'm going to add a little bit more of the red blood cells because they make up 55% of the blood. So we needed a bit more in there. And the platelets and the white blood cells don't make up as much. Have a look. See them all floating around? Mm-hmm. This is what happens. Now, if you were to fall and scrape your knee, do you know which cells would come to protect you? The platelets. Yeah. So, we've learned all about what makes up blood. It is quiz time. I've got questions for you. Does anyone remember the 
four components that we learned about of our blood. Anyone? We have plasma. Mm -hmm, that yellowish liquid that makes up 55% of the blood. And what about the red? These guys here. What are these? Red blood cells. You got it. And the red blood cells, what do they do? They help to carry oxygen, which is like the air we breathe. That's oxygen, the air that we breathe in. They help to carry oxygen and nutrients to the rest of the body. And what about these guys here? These are the white blood cells. The white blood cells are the ones who back up, leave us alone. They're the ones that fight <laughs> off disease. Mm -hmm. And what about the little grains of rice that we use? Oh my goodness, my hands are getting all messy. What about the little white rice grains that we use? Those are called platelets. Platelets are like a plug to help stop your blood from pouring out. They help to clot the blood. So now that we've learned all about blood, we know that when the doctors come to check on us and they take our blood, now we kind of got a better idea of what the doctors are looking at when they take our blood. Mm -hmm. There's so much more to learn, but for now, that's our time. I hope that you can learn more about our community helpers, the doctor, and what they do to keep us alive and healthy. For now, we're going to sing our goodbye song. I'd love for you to sing along. You can clap your hands or snap your fingers. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Hope to see you again. It's goodbye, my friends. Oh, it's goodbye. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. See ya. Don't forget to think of something you're grateful for. Bye.